Hey, Nanny Fish! The second day of September. Another 9-11. 2018. Um... A whole bunch of things have like kind of compiled here over the past couple days uh, that have led me to uh, an understanding that we are without question uh, about to experience some pretty dramatic changes in the world. And what I mean is in the financial system primarily. Okay, this is just what I'm seeing right now. And what brought me to that was it was this Phoenix theme that has been just nonstop. It started last week with the Pope at Phoenix Park. You remember the Phoenix Park? The giant obelisk, right? The Pope in Phoenix Park. And this is a big, big deal how this is all playing out. And it's all linked together. And it's all to do with finances, really, because that is the controlling mechanism of the world right so we had mccain phoenix 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 and then we had this bus crash yesterday or that actually it was the same day that mccain was memorialized we had these seven people killed in a crash on the way to phoenix uh, and it goes on and on and on but it brought my memory to back to this article that came out on january 9th 1988 get ready for the phoenix right but it goes much deeper than this this is from the uh, rothschild owned economist magazine 30 years ago okay one nine nineteen eighty eight there's so much to this it's unbelievable but what really was put on me was to to illustrate how this goes back to like forever but primarily, like in our known in written history, all the way back to King Solomon and David and before, but primarily the real dark underbelly entities that we see, you know, the evil in this world, these wicked cabals, these these central bankers, and they're all Luciferians, I mean. And this goes back, Solomon, in Jerusalem, when he was building the temple and he had to hire out from the king of Tyre Hiram who is way up there on the food chain in the Freemasonic world Hiram Abiff okay king of Tyre which were Phoenicians these were Phoenician people okay and we can go and look I mean there are multiple places that we can look I just pulled up a couple of simple ones here that we can poke at and get some context on you know the Phoenicians the Phoenicians trade they were actually Canaanites okay but they were uh, let's say given understanding and knowledge of of commerce they were masters at trade and skills so they managed to stay out of wars and run a basically an empire for nearly a thousand years until the Romans came along okay so there you go the Phoenicians Phoenix right they were Canaanites and they were masters of commerce that's why we see at the very beginning of I pet goat the devil's hand with the what's called the staff of Hermes there are several names but it's the serpent on the staff the dollar sign the money that's what it's really you know the key to it and that's what the beast system will you know entail and that's what i think we're seeing here is is an unfolding in the very very near future of this at, at the very least the next stage of the beast system being in, imposed on us and it's already begun uh, it's been going on for a long time. The Rothschilds were writing about it 30 years ago, okay? 30 years from now, they said, everybody's going to be using the same currency. It's not dollars or yen, but let's say the Phoenix, okay? But what it's going to have to involve is government surrender economic sovereignty. And what that means is you 
surrender economic sovereignty. And it's been the plan all along, but I believe we are right on the cusp of seeing the next stage. And it'll be a big one. It'll be quite disruptive in my understanding. So you need to be prepared for this stuff. Okay? The, uh, the image that most people are aware of that accompanied that article was this the phoenix rising from the burning currencies and having this medallion this coin 10 phoenix okay why they chose 10 i do not know i have not been given that yet but don't forget you know 2018 is a blatant 911 8192 is 11 this symbol is what caught my attention this symbol right here can represent several things it could be the phallic symbol and the female the male female becoming one essentially uh, which is their goal that's why we see all this transgender and nuttiness and they're just destroying the children uh, the phoenix and that symbol i have a better there we go the the symbol here is actually the pi the phi if you will whatever pronunciation you prefer uh, the 21st letter of the Greek alphabet. Now, don't forget, the Greek alphabet comes out of, and it literally is made from the Phoenician alphabet. That's where all today's alphabets come from. Even the Hebrew, okay? The Hebrew for, derived from the Phoenician alphabet, okay? It, it's really quite fascinating, but just... The bottom line is the Phoenician alphabet was, you know, the, the birth of it. And this particular pi symbol here, you got to remember, it's also known as the golden ratio. Okay? And this ties directly into your DNA. And, I mean, I got so much up here that uh, I can directly illustrate that to you. Okay? The DNA spiral. Okay? implementing uh, the golden spiral the the pie I mean you can see him doing the sectioning off here with the uh, division and the final is the pie symbol the slash through the O exactly like this the same exact thing so this involves DNA all right it goes right back to the 23, the 46, and the 69. And this is just how I see it. The representations of those are the strands of DNA, the chromosomes. And when you are saved, when you come to know Christ and accept him, you are then able to activate that 23 and indwell the Holy Spirit. Okay, the other 23 is still in the world, but you are now a spiritual creature. You are not of this world. You're just in this meat suit, the 46. Okay, the 69 is the third strand. That will be the final mark of the beast, which will change the DNA to where it will not be able to indwell the Holy Spirit. I sincerely hope that makes sense, but this is what I'm getting. This is how it will work. So the bottom line is, you know, the whole financial systems of this world, I mean, they've been changing. Virtually everyone's out of cash money. They don't use it anymore. Um, most of us aren't rich. We don't have these big concerns, but don't forget, rich and poor free and bond everyone will be forced into this mark or you will not be able to participate in the money system in other words you're gonna have to worship the devil satan that's what it will require so you need to be aware of this whether you're here or not when this is fully implemented uh you need to know this it for that for at the very least you'll be able to help other people because you'll know the truth so you understand what i'm saying and instruct people on what they need to do and need not to do uh, when these things start to happen okay so hey 
any one of us can go any minute and not even be here to experience these things, right? But you got to, you know, hey, we're still here. Every minute we're here, you know, got to do what we got to do. And this whole thing is just amazing, you guys. We could go so, so much deeper into this, okay? I mean, we can go into how The Economist is owned by the Rothschilds. We can go into the geometry of the phi uh, spiral. We could go into, oh my goodness, the, the human DNA and the pi. It's pretty amazing. I'll be putting probably a lot of links into this uh, video. What can I tell you? I mean, seriously, this is what I see. I see this happening very soon. And, and one of the main reasons, really, too, is because of the date. And don't forget, you know, the Phoenicians, I mean, right back to, to Solomon. I mean, the whole deal, you guys. But if we go back to the first day of January, 1-9-1988. And I don't know how that did that, you guys, but look at that. And I just put in one nine nineteen eighty eight, and look at that. It's got nine eleven. That's just weird, okay? And I, I just went to the fourth, which is this coming Tuesday, because it's the end of Labor Day weekend, and it just fits to me in my spirit. And I don't know, the whole thing is just very, very weird. But I mean, it's wild that when they released that article, the very day that this image was put out, okay? January 9th, 1988, up until the 4th, it's just a couple days from now, 11,196 days, all right? I saw the 69 right away, and then the 911 right away. And, I, I, again, you know, I always try to, to explain as best I can of what it all means, but, you know, I get what I get. All I know is that this is coming quicker than than people think. And, you know, financially speaking, you need to be able to function to a certain degree. When you don't have much, you don't worry about much in the world of money. But what I do have and what I do make, I keep control of it. And the only money I put in the bank is the stuff that I need there in order to, you know, auto pay and write checks, you know. Everything else gets some, just something useful, a tool or just put some cash away. You know what I mean? Have control of, of your life in that regard because it's important. And it will enable you to help others much, much better. You know what I'm saying? That's the key. And hopefully bring them to Christ when these things start to happen and they realize, wow, this is real. The Bible's real. You know, and you can be there to guide them. You know, so there's that. And I just found this crazy. The Phoenix, 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 Phoenix. And then the Phoenix, 1988, Rothschild. Just telling us way ahead of time what the plan is and this is the next phase of the mark of the beast and it's probably going to begin with calamity something something war the the whole financial system is going to go upended and they're going to come in with their new system to save everybody but you're going to have to hand over your sovereignty to uh participate that's what they want from you to hand over not just your economic sovereignty but your spiritual sovereignty your soul your eternal sovereignty do not take a mark i'm just telling you that will disable that 23 that's able to accept the holy spirit and be saved okay you take that mark, it's going to nullify that 23. You understand? So, I hope so. I truly do. And I hope this blesses someone. And, uh,
there's a lot more to talk about with this and i'm going to try and get back to some more later it's just amazing our god is an awesome god <laughs> praise his holy name seek jesus today if you don't know him it's it's critically important okay so peace and grace to y'all many fish finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of god that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places wherefore take unto you the whole armor of god 